Hi, this tutorial is the third in the Spinal Pathways series, and in this video we will be discussing the spinothalamic tract. The spinothalamic tract is the pathway which conveys the sensation of pain, temperature, and crude touch. The pathway begins with nerve endings or receptors in the body, sending information down the axon of a neuron. These neurons are pseudo-unipolar neurons, with cell bodies in the dorsal root ganglion, just like the ones we saw in the dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway. Now here's a slice of the spinal cord. And here is Lasalle's fasciculus. The spinothalamic tract enters the spinal cord and ascends or descends one or two levels within Lasalle's fasciculus. Then it synapses onto a cell body in the dorsal horn of the grey matter. The dorsal horns are the back parts of the butterfly wings of the grey matter. The axon from this neuron then decussates, which you'll remember means to cross to the other side, and then ascends via the spinothalamic fasciculus. This decussation is called the anterior white commissure. It is also important in the corticospinal tract which we will discuss in the next tutorial. These neurons here are located within the substantia gelatinosa, or the nucleus proprius, both of which are collections of cell bodies within the dorsal horn. The spinothalamic tract then ascends through the brainstem and synapses onto the thalamus. This is why the tract is called the spinothalamic tract because it ascends from the spinal cord to the thalamus. The thalamus then sends projections to the post-central gyrus of the cortex. This is the same part of the cortex to which the dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway projected. They both project to the post-central gyrus because they are both sensory pathways and the post-central gyrus is a primary sensory area. Now I'll finish by reiterating that Lasalle's fasciculus is the route by which the spinothalamic tract ascends or descends one to two levels before synapsing to the spinal cord grey matter. And like the dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway, this is a three neuron pathway. The first is in the dorsal root ganglion, the second is in the dorsal horn of the spinal cord, and the third is in the thalamus. And that concludes this tutorial on the spinothalamic tract. In the next video, we will be discussing the corticospinal tract, which is the primary motor pathway. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please help us produce more by making a donation at www.handwrittentutorials.com.